Okay, now this is my virtual machine. I have started the virtual machine. It's running. Okay. You go to your server manager, click on local server, click on your Ethernet card because we want to give the IP address. We need to assign the IP address. The assign, to assign the IP address, right click, select properties, then choose Internet Protocol version 4. Okay. Properties, use the following IP address. We will use the address given to us in the lab manual, which is 10.0.xxxx is the last two digits of your student ID number, okay? So if it's 1 or 0, 1, you can type. Uh, for me, it is 1, 0, 1, yani. I will choose. And then 1. The, the last digit should be 1. The IP address is 10.0. Dot X X here the last two digits of your ID. Zero one. Zero one. Oh, one. Let's see. Subnet mask is please everyone two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Default gateway, since we have only one DC, one machine, it will act as our gateway and as our DNS. So the gateway and the DNS are the same of your IP address. So here it is 10.0.xx, .x, which is whatever is your IP address. And for me, it is 1.1. One, one. Okay, got it? And DNS is the same, 10. Dot zero, dot one, dot one. For you, this one will be your last two digits. For oh, I yeah, yeah. If it was zero one, then it is one or zero one. If it is zero three, zero three or three, the same. But if it's three zero, you have to put thirty. It's three zero. Yeah, that, yeah. Always one. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, yes, that's the IP address. Okay. I will move. Okay. Don't change anything here. Just say okay. And then close. So now I have configured my IP address. I am ready now to use this machine as the ICP. Now I will go to again. Click on manage. So we can look at our IP address. Now I go back to manage. Here, click on manage. Okay, click on manage. Click on manage. Okay, manage here. <coughs> Add roles and features. Okay. Maximize it. Don't change anything here. Just say next. Next. Don't change anything. Just go by the default. Next. Here I will choose DSCP. Once I click on DSCP, it will open another screen. So click on DSCP, only one click. Look. Yeah, go back. Hard. Again, you go to manage, add roles and features. Okay. Next. 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 Here, choose DHCP. 
Once you choose, it will open this screen for you. That's fine. This means it's okay. Then we will choose add features. Okay. Then you choose next. So try the validation results. Yeah, yeah, continue, continue. Yeah, yeah. I said just go con uh, continue. Okay, continue, please. Can I go next? Next. Next, don't change anything. Next. Here, check on restart if needed. I says, by my restart the server if needed. Okay. Okay, just say yes. Now click on install. Add, add roles and features. Shall I go back? Will I, okay. I'll go back. We do it from the beginning. Will I, okay. okay. Now click on install. Halas. It will take a quickly now it will install. It's okay for you, uh, no problem, inshallah. You sent him in yet? Yeah? No, he has different story. Okay, now we got the message. Once you get this, it's finished installing, then you can cl click on close. I will wait. I will wait for you. No problem. I will... It's okay. I will wait for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sah, sah. Sah, you are right. Okay. <laughs> okay, shall I continue? Because it's running in the background. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Halas, mister. Okay, now click on close. You see, it finished install in the installation. Close. Now we have added the role of the SCP, but now we need to configure it. We need to create a scope. So this is the easy part. You go to tools, tools. By the way, these steps are written in lab three, uh, in the manual, step by step. So you go to tools, choose DHCP, tools, DHCP. It will open this screen for you, Shaifin. This screen, this is my DHCP management, or MMC, we call it SNAP, SNAP uh, the control screen. Yeah. Now I will click, this is my server, click on it. You have one for IP version 4 and IP version 6. We will be working in IP version 4, so I'll click on IP version 4. On IP version 4, right click, and then we are going to create a new scope. So we'll say a new scope. I will repeat this part, okay? It's a bit tricky. So let me close this again. Go to tools. DHCP, this is your DHCP screen, click on the server, you have IP version 4, on IP version 4, right click and then choose a new scope, okay, then click on next, we are going to give the scope a name, so we will give it the name scope and the last two digits of your ID. 
Next. The start IP address of the range, the scope that I will be giving automatically to computers will be from the first IP address, which is 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
I know, 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 I Yes, I want to activate the scope now. Activate it. If you don't activate it, it will not work. Next. Finish. Now it's all good. All done. Now if I come here, I have my scope. See, if I click on my scope, I have the address pool. It is from 1 to 100. The excluded is from 1 to 10. You want to show me this screen, okay? You will show me this screen when you come here. Any questions? Close the machine. Just hold on.